vein. And today I'm going to be finishing off my bulkhead. I'm going to be putting up some nice uh, panelling, the same as what you see behind me. I'll just show you the bulkhead, what it is now. It's just insulated. It's a sliding bulkhead. Um, so it's all nicely going to be nice and insulated for the winter. It keeps the heat in. That's the idea. So I need to finish that off. And once I finish that off, I'm going to paint the back wall in primer and paint the floor ready for all my framework to go on top. So uh, that's my progress so far. And it's all been fully insulated and got a full vapor barrier all around. It's very important. This is like the foundation, it's like building a house, you've got to have your foundations. Well, on a camper van, your foundation is your insulation. I think that, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, getting dead leg. Right, so now today, uh, yesterday, William Kinnear pointed out I didn't show you how, to, how I finished off my last panel. I made it removable. In the start of the video, I did it say that I was going to make it removable, but at the end of the video, I didn't show you how I made it removable. So this is for you, William. I built a little, um, what's the word? A model, a mock-up of my back panel. All right, so this piece of wood represents my battens. This piece, these two pieces are my slats going across. Now the slats, I've got tongue and groove. Once these are interlocked, that middle one, there's no way you can remove it without destroying it. So I, make, I slightly modify one panel to make it removable, like I say, so I can get to my wires for maintenance and modifications, all that groovy stuff. Oh, I'm just going to sit up, get a dead leg. Right, so my modified piece of uh, cladding. So what I do, I take the tongue off the top. Um, I'll just use this bit to show you. So that's the tongue. I'll remove that, and then at the bottom, the groove, I'll take the back piece away, which is this piece here. I'll simply remove that. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Like that. So this bit, gone. So I end up with a whole row, <laughs> get around like, my, like this. So the, the back of the groove I'll take off, and like I say, the, the tongue I'll take off completely, and that'll be the whole strip. So then, when I want to add it or remove it, it's a simple process of just putting it in place like that. So the, from the front, it will look like this. If I want to remove it, I'll take the screw out and then I can just simply take it away like that. Makes it nice and easy to remove it, to get to all my wires. And like I say, I can add stuff, take stuff away and just get to my wiring. It's important you can get your wiring just in case anything does go pop or bang. Mm. I'll just jinx myself, <laughs> probably. <laughs> the whole process is jinxed. Anyway, I'm going to crack on now. Um, get. I need to clean all this floor first, then I'm going to finish off my bulkhead, like I say, and then put, do some painting, get it ready for my framework. I want to. Yeah, I need to get to that stage where I'm. I can start building my framework for me with me uh, work surface and my bed. But before that, I want to paint the floor. So that's today's job. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do today. And I'm still waiting for my heater to turn up. I did write him a nasty letter. Well, not a nasty letter, but a stern letter. I sent a stern email to the people I brought my heater off on eBay. And they got back to me at six o'clock this morning saying it's going to take another two to three days. Which is ridiculous considering I ordered it on the 1st and it's now the 16th. So it's already been 16 days. So fingers crossed, they've not mugged me off and it turns up soon. And when that heater does turn up, I'll go through, like, I'll do a, a rundown and a, of how it's all gonna be fitted and how it works, how I like to fit them um, to stop condensation building up in your van. It's a neat little trick I've got. So yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's worth it just for that video. When my heat arrives up, turns up. Okay, so I'm gonna crack on now, I'm gonna stop waffling on and get to work yeah i need to get moving get some blood circulating i've got my hippie top on today <laughs> like it right yeah that's enough i'm gonna get cracking well no disasters today thank god so uh this is my progress i've managed to paint the side 
I didn't paint the floor because the floor is quite damp. It's been really foggy all day. And it was foggy all day yesterday as well. So the my floor's got a bit wet. And I don't really want to paint over that with an oil-based primer because that moisture will be locked into the wood and it'll only cause it to rot or smell at worst. So uh, I'll need to dry my floor out really before I can paint it. It's just gone really damp. Yeah, you can feel it's moist. Now, uh, anyway, I managed to finish my bulkhead. There you go. Got my control panel up there. Box this in as well. Now, if you want to know how I did this, look how neat that is. That's a really simple trick. I'll get a bit of scrap wood, I'll show you. I've tied it up now. <laughs> right, yeah, that'll do. So what I do, obviously starting at the bottom and working my way up. So, so that's my first one. The second one up, I'll simply get a bit of scrap wood and I'll place it against where I want the angle. So from this side, I can't really see now because it's so bleeding and dark. So I'll place that there and then scribe down the face of that. That gives me a line, that gives me that line. I then take it away, cut down that line, then slide the bit of wood back in place, and then mark it from the back down, and then cut it. I'll take it away, cut it. Then when I slide it back in, it fits perfect. Like that. I hope that made some sort of sense. But um, I think I did a demonstration way back when I was doing the LDV. So if you want to see how I did that in more detail, look at the LDV build video I can't remember what I called it but it's there somewhere way back before I had a beard <laughs> this is winter guys in the summer it comes off along with this hippie top <laughs> so oh yeah there's my slider that would go up like that so that blocks off the cab completely and from the other side this will be painted grey or covered with some sort of grey felt and insulated as well I've still got to do that yet but the main thing is now I've basically I've got an empty box that I can now start to put furniture in so I'm really excited now now that you know, I can this this part of it isn't so much fun but now I've got my empty shell I've got a box basically I could start like I say putting my furniture in I'll start doing my bed and my cupboards and all the fun stuff our lights are really bright, thank God. I've still got my battery on my bucket. Oh, somebody asked what battery I got. It's only a cheap one. Normal, um, I don't know, it's a leisure battery, but it's a lead acid battery. I know it's old school and it's a bit old fashioned, but um, it does me. They last about three years, so I've got no problem with that. And that'll be at the back hidden away somewhere it won't stay there on a bucket <laughs> but there you go that's my control panel there I haven't wired it in yet that's just in there um, my solar controller will go up here and my charge socket will go down there but I can fit them later I've got to drill the holes and everything make holes for them but uh, yeah it's coming along I'm quite pleased really there you go see sorry about the noise I can dive out of there if I need to that's the idea behind that anyway I can still get out of the van I can still access the driving area if I need to get get going in a hurry in an emergency so there you go that's my progress so far if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel do subscribe Hit notification if you want to see the rest of this build. Ta-da for now.